Hi, Pisces. Welcome. Let's jump in and see what's going on here with you today, okay, Pisces? Uh, Pisces, keep in mind this is a general reading, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, uh, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777 and my vlog channel at Val Smith. Thank you. All right, Pisces, let's see what's going on. I'm going to shuffle the cards out first, and I'll tell you what I see here, Pisces, okay? Yeah, interesting. So Pisces, someone is who you want or you got who you wanted and what you wanted, but you're still not truly happy. Some of you, so there's two Pisces groups. One of you are like kind of, there's someone here is your dream, desire, fulfillment of wishes, and you're like trying to figure out how to get to them. The other Pisces is like, you're married, you're set, you're stable, you got your man or your wife, you know what I mean? You got it all, the house and the kids, and you're still not happy. And I'm sorry to tell you that, okay? So don't get mad at me. I just told Aries, don't take it personal because I'm an Aries moon. Don't get mad at me, Pisces, because I'm another Pisces female telling you about yourself. I know we fucking hate that. I know we hate, like, I know we get triggered when people tell us about ourselves, Pisces, but sometimes, girl, you gotta fucking listen, okay? You're here on my channel, which is an honor. Thank you. So I'm gonna tell you some real shit, like a real friend would. Okay, so, because unfortunately some of you are like, okay, like some of you are funny. Like the first Pisces group is like, okay, but like I'm friends with that person that's in a relationship. I don't think it's really real. <laughs> You're like, ah, I have a crush on my old, my friend and I, what's going on with that? You know, like, are they really real? You know? And then the other Pisces is like, no, I'm married. I'm set. I'm stable, but I'm not committed. I want to be a hoe. Hey, live your life, but don't di divorce first or something or break up first before you want to live that whole life. Okay. Um, it happens. Some women aren't ready to really be committed and married. Like I've seen it. It's crazy. Like women, they, they, you know, they get the ring, they get the house, they even get the kids. And then they're like, holy fuck, I want to go out and club and be blackout and have men look at me. It happens. Some women are not ready for that life, you know? And since with the way the media is grooming every all females to be more like men and be more independent, yeah, it makes sense, you know? Um, now, if you're a single mother, um, you're a thug in a good way. You're, you just fucking get shit done. Like, if you're a single mother and you gotta fucking be a dude, like, I'm not talking about you. Like, I get that. Like, uh-uh. Like, single mothers, if you're a single mother, no. You got the hardest fucking job. Like, okay, just so you know. Now, the rest of you. Like, I have respect for single mothers. I really do. Um, so, whoever you are, let's start out. Okay, so an ending is here. And it's kind of anxiety, but not really. You're done with it. And then it's either you just don't have to work. You don't want to work. You don't want to try that hard and position money, wealth, status, job. Maybe you're just financially dependent on someone else. Or you're just greedy but lazy at the same time. After that, you're like, yeah, I'm not going to walk away from this, that, them, or that. I, I use this or them or that as a financial, emotional, physical, energetic crutch. It's like, okay. 
but then it's like, uh oh, home is not where the heart is right now. Um, things are getting real shaky, quaky. Unless you care too much about the crowd and image and how you look. Okay. Others of you, it's like things are not stable anymore where you're at, where you're living, location, whatever. But you're like, I'm not changing my ways. I'm like, I'm, I'm stuck on this. And it's like, okay. And they're like, you know, some of, you know, you're in this energy of like, well, I don't really want to share, you know, and give. I want to be greedy and I want to keep taking and not giving back. And then either this causes you to be a little deceptive through lust, whatever, you know, or you, you've had it. Like it's, it's either like, like lust passion, but it's not like real passion um, to try to get your way or you've just fucking had it. Like you're, you're, you're like mad, you know what I mean? Like you're not going to take action towards something or a person. You're like, no, because a lot of you I, definitely, I see you're, you could be doing with someone. After that, this is where a few things here. Either you really don't know the spiritual or religious path you're on. I'm not going to say it's bullshit because I don't know who you are. You're just having a moment where you're like, this ain't it, but what the fuck else do I do? You know, it, it, it's just not to be of service to society and people. It's just it ain't it for you. You know, now you might be in a very messy contract and it's unique. And so I don't know how to help you with that one because I'm talking about higher up stuff. Others of you, you're in a marriage or relationship and you're like, yeah, um, I'm actually not really committed at all. <laughs> Either or, you know deep down the truth, but it's hard for you to face it. After that, that's where you're like, a few things. Are you not sure what path you want to go on now because of that? In your own life, with your own alignment too? Or, you know, are you not sure about the relationship or marriage you are involved in you're not it's starting to get a little sideways it's not truly committed or you know what I mean or are you wanting to be with someone or are you not sure anymore is it about a best friend or is it about a current relationship or marriage it's starting to taint you know tilt and taint and then a lot gets revealed in life and even you work through your own emotions and then I don't know what happened here you have a moment I'm gonna say you might you might be battling yourself because after that if someone shows up you're just loving and friendly and giving and caring and nurturing now, like I said, for those of you, if you're dealing with someone, right? Now, the thing is, is like there's there could be drama. Maybe you want to start some shit. Hey, Pisces, live your life. Others of you are just like, no, 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 no. I'm annoyed and irritated because I'm trying to figure out my own shit. But then something happens where you end up having emotion. Love, nurturing, kind, nurturing kindness, something. And then you get what you want. And then it goes back to, well, actually, I don't know. <laughs> you're like, mm, I'm going to close off again. It's like, no, but I get it, Pisces. Pisces, damn it. I wanted a happy reading for you. <laughs> uh, so you leave it stressed out, annoyed, irritated, and feeling stuck, bored, miserable, moping, and discontent, and just like, fuck it all. Uncomfortable because, I don't know, Pisces, you want to do something, but you're not doing it. And then it's like, you care too much about other people. It's like, you just want to stay stuck and mopey. I'm sorry, you do. And hey, that's Pisces for you, you know? Anyone who's dating or married to a Pisces is like, you know. Oh, Pisces. Well, you'll figure it out, I feel. Okay. You could be dealing with um, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I believe that's about it. All right. Thank you. Bye.